Dennis Grabowskis. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. My lovely wife, Debbie, Debbie G. We call um, me Debbie, Debbie G. G. How long have we been married? 27 years. 28 years, February 10th. Yep. I had the stroke uh, uh, 12 years ago, be going on 13 years, and my wife called the uh, emergency. Then they came over. They took me to the hospital. That's the last thing I know. And when he finally came to, after three days, he couldn't do anything. He couldn't talk. He didn't know how to go through and breathe, a, breathe right or do a straw or anything. He had no abilities whatsoever. Right side paralysis. And because of the right par side paralysis, after years and years of doing this, this is when we started feeling a lot of pain. The pain in my neck was unbelievably, I, like I uh, was saying before that I went to several pain doctors, epidurals, uh, Malaysians and stuff like that, nothing worked. We had first seen another spine doctor who said, I'm not doing the surgery. Exactly. I'm not doing the surgery. Yeah. So I had basically said, we're not doing this because of the risk involved. And um, he asked me, please, let's just, go and talk to Dr. Hood. I remember first meeting Dennis. Uh, he came into the office to see me. After discussing with him his uh, symptoms and going through his imaging findings, um, he was found to have a condition called myelopathy, which is a disease of the spinal cord that can be progressive if untreated. He had seen, as I mentioned, multiple providers previously who told him no, surgery was too risky. Um, but the problem was left untreated again, it would, you know, end in a bad situation. He was so, so articulate what he does. And he says, don't worry, I've done this before. It's all later here. He'd done it before. Dr. Hood was very certain of his capabilities. Oh, exactly. And that's what we need. We need somebody who knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And he said that the outcome would be life changing. Exactly. After removal of the neck brace, uh, patients are allowed to resume normal activities as tolerated, usually in a graduated fashion. Occasionally that means that they need to go to physical therapy to work on uh, strengthening and conditioning. Other patients, sometimes they can just jump right back into the activities they were doing. His whole staff is wonderful. From Millie to, oh, well, very wonderful. But the day that I got there to the hospital was that I was very excited. I'm, I'm, I couldn't believe that this day finally came. Couldn't believe. And we had a great time with the nursing staff throughout the whole time. Mm -hmm. We had fun with the nursing staff. So that was great. Their, our concerns were their concerns. They did not fall on deaf ears. Mm -hmm. Well, for the first three and a half hours, because he said this was going to be three and a half, four hours, I wasn't concerned at all. We had talked to the anesthesiologist. He knew all of Dennis's issues and everything like that. So I knew that he would be well cured for. But when it went into like hour four and then hour five and then hour six. And so when it was over and he found me, um, I was, he had a big smile on his face and he's like, it all went well. And it was just like the greatest sense of relief. Like he's alive, he made it through and the surgery went well. A lot more work than he anticipated because it was double the time, but he, it went well. Um, it's a relief actually. It's a relief. Uh, he gets yeah, choked up because he never thought he would get to this point. No, no, no. So his pain level was so bad. Yeah, yeah. Like we had maxed out on all the medications that doctor would give us. So the man was at a level 10 all the time. Now, Dennis, what kind of pain are you in? Zero. Zero. That's the answer. Now when he gets up, it's like, good morning, honey. Like that's a game changer just right there, you know? And he can, um, like he can help in the kitchen and he's singing and he's like, he's dancing as best as he possibly can. But he's like, it's, it's having the husband back that I have missed for such a long time. We thank you, <laughs> Dr. Hood, for being a man of character, integrity, and someone that we could really uh, depend on. His whole staff has been phenomenal. They care about us. And we have referred every, the moment we hear back or neck issues, we're like, here's Dr. Hood, here's Dr. Hood, here's Dr. Hood. We want to be a campaign manager for him. We believe so highly in what his capabilities are. Thank you so much, staff and Dr. Hood. Thank you so much. That's all I, I'm, thank God for them, for all you guys. Yeah. Thank you.